Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. My name's Kiana. I make lots of different content, mainly vlogs, beauty, and hair. All right, I already know you guys definitely have a short attention span, so we're just gonna go straight into this video because that's how I like it. So this is my 100 and plus Christmas list video starting off right before December. I'm very, very excited. I have this split into different categories. If you have serious attention issues, here is a short screen grab of everything that I'm gonna be talking about today. So yeah. Let's just get straight into this video. If you like this type of content, please hit that like and subscribe button and let's get straight into it. Okay, I have everything written on my phone so that I can do this fairly quickly. I'm gonna have everything listed over here, all right? First category is apparel. So number one, we have Uggs, all kinds of Uggs, short, tall, the Tasman, whatever else, platform, not platform. Two, skim sets, or honestly, any sort of comfy set in general. I was just thinking skims. Three, skims bodysuit. I want one so bad. <laughs> or the Amazon dupe. Four, Lululemon scuba hoodies. I love the scuba hoodies. I tried the Amazon dupe version of scuba hoodie. It did not work well. Oh, my sweet potato fries are done. Okay, I'm gonna let those cool off for a second. Number five, socks. Fuzzy socks, not fuzzy socks. Six, Adidas Sambas. I have the black and white ones, but not the ones that you think. It's the black with the white stripes. I really want the white with the black stripes, but they're sold out. So if you can't find those, I highly suggest, I think it's the Puma Palmeros. My sister just got a pair. They're extremely similar in fit and shape and looks, and they're currently still in stock. So you may want to check those out. Next up, Adidas Gazelle, specifically the platform versions of these. Super cute. I've seen them all over my Pinterest board. Really in love with them. Number nine, Nike blazers. I haven't seen people wear these in a while, but I still really think they're cute. I think they're cuter than the Nike Air Force ones. Number 10, the Free People Pippa Puffer jacket. I have this one and yes, it is a pretty penny, but I wear it everywhere. It is so lightweight, but so freaking warm and it comes in so many cute colors. Definitely gotta check that one out. Workout sets, all different kinds of workout sets. Some of my favorite ones are from Alpha Elite, Gymshark. Amazon also makes really, really good workout sets. I really would love to try Aloe and Set Active. However, those are so expensive, I just cannot justify it. Also, any sort of workout wear with the seam up the crack, it's just not for me. So if they're doing that, I just can't justify it. I really can't. Like it's, it's 2023, you should be doing no seam at that point, right? Okay, glad we worked that one out. Number 12, pajama sets, skims, Princess Polly, Garage, Addicted, Victoria's Secret has some of my favorite ones. If you wanna go on the expensive side, Everjay, Jerf, that kind of thing. Amazon has a lot of dupes for those things. Amazon has a lot of great ones. Puffer vest, in general, I keep seeing this all over my Pinterest. 14, basic tops. What I mean by that is literally what I'm wearing. Like, it's just a basic top. This one's from Abercrombie, really, really like it. But short sleeve, long sleeves, you know, really fun necks, anything like that, but basic colors. Anything that you're going to have for the next five, 10 years because it's just never gonna go out of style. I think that's the best thing ever. And I wear these tops all the time because you can pair them with so many different kinds of outfits. Next up, number 15, a bathrobe. Makes me feel luxurious. Number 16, colorful chunky scarves. I see these, I remember them from last year and I still think they're gonna be around for at least the next year or two. They're really cute. I know the ones that I see the most are from either Acne Studio then Grey Bandit also has quite a few. Next up, red boots. I know that a lot of people have predicted this because it was in New York Fashion Week a lot, but red accents, especially red purses, red wallets, red headbands, um, red earrings, red nails, red shoes. Number 19, basic dresses. Basically what I meant with basic tops. Garage, Princess Polly, Addicted, Abercrombie, Amazon. Number 20, and this is the last on the apparel, is Abercrombie hoodies. I think the Abercrombie hoodies are to die for. I think that there's nothing quite like them and they also stand up pretty well in the wash. I already have two of them and I just would say if you can get the actual Abercrombie hoodies because I do think that they're worth it. They're super soft and they just hoodie. There's some that just know how to hoodie and they know how to hoodie. Okay, next up we have makeup. Next category is makeup, personal favorite. So most of the stuff on this list I actually do have and I really love, so that is why it's on the list. I just realized I didn't do a skincare portion for this. Anyways, maybe I should. Number 21, Glossier Cloud Paints. With that being said, Say Super Glowy Gel. Anything from Say, love it, absolutely adore it. Really, really pretty, especially under foundation or without foundation. Number 23, Say Do Blush, also an amazing blush. Really, really love the formula. Number 24, Charlotte Tilbury Contour. Number 25, the e.l.f. Contour Wands. I have used these and I will continue to use these because 
because I love them dearly and they are amazing and there's so many shade ranges it's almost like Charlotte Tilbury just couldn't get on it elf halo glow is number 26 number 27 is the elf blush wands and then number 28 is the elf highlights all of the elf anything by elf usually is pretty good in my opinion really like elf number 29 a great stocking stuffer Burt's Bees chapstick I am a big fan of having chapstick everywhere I need a car chapstick I need a kitchen chapstick <laughs> I need one in my makeup bag I need one in my purse I need one by my bed I need one in my bathroom so Burt's Bees I feel like those big value packs perfect because you can just put them everywhere and it's Burt's Bees. Who doesn't love Burt's Bees? Number 30, we have Real Techniques Brush Set. This is a really, really good brush set, and especially because it's it's really inexpensive for the quality of the brush that you're going to get. I know that I used to buy them from Ulta all the time, and they're still some of my favorite brushes. 31, Juvia's Place Blush. This reminds me so much of the Rare Beauty Blush. It's so pigmented. She has so many different colors. It's really an amazing brand. I'm surprised I haven't tried more of their stuff. She also has a pressed powder blush that I really want to try out. Number 32 is Milani Mascara. You can obviously just input whichever mascara it is that you're wanting. Number 33, Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. I actually do think that one is really worth the money and I haven't found a setting spray that I like just quite like that one. It is really, really good. I'm pointing to my makeup bag right now because it's on the floor because I just did my makeup. Number 34, the Pixie Blush on the go. The Pixie, the Pixie Blush on the go. Number 35, we're getting into the lip oils. I have a lot of lip oils because I feel like there's so many different price ranges of lip oils. So first off, in beauty lip oils, I still think that this is one of the best lip oils that I've ever, ever bought. My favorite is their cherry flavor. I can't remember the number. Number 36, Clarins lip oils. Number 37, the Milani lip oils. It's fruit fetish lip oils. Here we go. Number 38, Milani baked blush. Getting into Hourglass, we have at number 39, the Hourglass palettes. I think that these are definitely worth the money. They're super pretty. They're definitely a splurge, but again, I just, the packaging's so stunning. The formulas are amazing and they just apply so beautifully and there's so many different colors and everything. Number 40, we have the Hourglass brushes. If you are looking to pay a pretty penny, I do think that the Hourglass brushes are some of the best ones. I very, very, thankfully very blessed. I was sent a lot of the Hourglass brushes and anyone that I have gifted them to love them. And I think I've started a bad habit because <laughs> a lot of people are like, well, I have to get the rest of them now. No, Hourglass brushes really are, there's something about them. They're really, really nice. Number 41, GlossierBomb.com. 42, the Say Slip Tint. That's what I have on today. 43, Glossier Boy Brow. Still one of my favorite boy brows. Other favorite is Kosas, which is what I have on today. 44, Kosas Cloud Set. Also have this on today if you're looking for something that takes away the shine but still doesn't take away the glow of your skin. Kosas Cloud Set. Number 45, I don't know how you say this brand's name. Giso? Giso? Someone's gonna come for me in the comments. Their lip oil. I really, really like their lip oil. Uh, lip oil. I actually really like their products in general. I think they smell really good and I just like the formulas of a lot of their stuff. Number 46, the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. I probably should have looked up the actual names of these products, but I'll have them, okay? I'll have them listed. So this, I'm talking about her pressed powder and then also her liquid. The 47 is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I think that this lip liner is really, really great. I know that there's three different shades. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liners. Honestly, her lip liners in general, really great. 48 Road Lip Kits. I use these religiously. 49 Road Skincare. Really fallen in love with her Road Skincare line. I think it's actually really, really good. I think it's great for right before you put on makeup. Like it's a perfect makeup base. Number 50 Aquaphor. You can't go wrong with Aquaphor. It's basically the same as Bird's Bees, except it's just a little bit better and it's universally available. You can use it on everything. Okay, so that's it for makeup. I'm going to change my camera battery because it's about to die. Next up, I have body care. Again, I don't know why I didn't do skincare as well. Maybe because skincare is just so unique and I've done so many videos about skincare. Anyways, on to body care. Number 51, we have the French body wash. This I know is sold at Target. I'm pretty sure someone told me it was like Ashley Tisdale's brand. <laughs> I don't actually know if that's true. I find their body wash that smells so good. Love their lavender one. Love their cashmere vanilla one. Number 52, native body wash. Also really, really great body washes. Smells really yummy. 53, if you are looking for a really expensive smelling body wash, the Way body wash in St. Bart's or their Melrose. Melrose is just a, it's just rose. Like if you like the smell of rose, it's rose. But their St. Bart's one, it just reminds me of the beach. Probably that's why they named it St. Bart's. Anyways, I think it smells really good 
Just go on Sephora, smell it, see if you like it. Oh, also sells it too. Number 54, Sol de Janeiro, their bum bum cream, their lotion, whatever it is that it's called. It smells really good. My sister, that's like her signature scent is anything from them. And I always love visiting her because I just steal some of it for the day. And it's just such a nice smell. I don't know why I haven't bought it myself yet. <laughs> Number 55, the Tree Hut Scrubs. You can't go wrong with the Tree Hut Scrubs. So many of them smell so good. 56, Self Tanner. If you're a self tanning girly, ask for Self Tanner or Self Tanner Mitt or the Isle of Paradise tanning drops for your face or their mystery, you know, whatever it is that you're interested in. Number 57, Bath and Body Works Body Care. 58, First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. If you're really struggling with ingrown hair, especially in the winter with shaving, if you do shave in the winter, totally personal preference. <laughs> I don't really like to do it, but if you do, I always find that leggings or jeans or whatever it is that you're wearing, it just kind of rubs up against it, especially when you're in the winter. So First Aid Beauty came out with these ingrown hair pads, really like them, they do work. 59 is the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Scrub. If you have those annoying little bumps on the back of your arm, the Keratosis Pilaris, the scrub, if you use it religiously, it actually does work. Number 60, Philosophy Vanilla Wash and Lotion. Ordinary glycolic acid. I've seen that people use this on their face, they use it on their armpits, they'll use it down under, they use it you know, on the back of their arms, anywhere that they're trying basically just do a light exfoliant. Seems to work really, really well. And number 62, get away from your loofahs. I actually just ditched my loofah and I think I'm going to put a body scrubber on my Christmas list. Number 63, a microfiber hair towel. I think that this is really, really important. My favorite one actually comes from Crown Affair. They sent me a microfiber hair towel and it, it is so, so nice. It's not the typical microfiber towel where if you throw it in the dryer, it literally collects every single piece of lint and they get really disgusting really fast it's like a woven texture it's really nice really really great number 64 a dry brush number 65 a tweezer set like tweezer mint or something like a good tweezer set that you don't misplace i misplace all of my tweezers i have a bag for everything now so that i don't misplace things number 66 little press on nails i have been loving press on nails i love glamnetic i love static nails and then some of sally hansen isn't bad sally hansen though sometimes i put it on my fingers and i'm like this was not made for actual people's nails. Number 67, nail kits. 68, nail polish if you really love doing your own nails. Number 69, shaving oils or cream. 70, a head scrubber, scalp scrubber, scalp massager. I just realized I probably should have put this with hair care, which is what is next, hair care. Number 71, scalp oils. Number 72, hair mask. Any kind of hair mask. Anything that fits your fancy. Here are some of my favorites. 73, shampoo, 74, conditioner, any kind of shampoo and conditioner. Maybe ask for that slightly more expensive shampoo and conditioner that you've been really, really dying to try. 75, heat protectants, especially if you have curly hair and you like to put heat on your hair or if you just constantly style your hair every single day, definitely ask for heat protectants. It goes a long way. Protect your hair, please. 76, dry shampoo. 77, curl gel. 78, curl cream. 79, a blow dryer, preferably a blow dryer with a diffuser on it if you are a curly girl. A lot of blow dryers actually come with diffusers. Number 80, the Revlon brush. Actually, a lot of companies do this exact blow dryer brush. I really like my Revlon. I know Lange also makes a really, really good one. Number 81, a straightener if you do like to straighten your hair. Or you can get that one that doubles as a curling one as well from Lange. It has the rounded edges so that you can just curl it up. Number 82, a curling iron. Number 83, hair oils. When I say this, I mean a finishing hair oil rather than a scalp oil because I do believe that they are a little bit different. 84, wow dream coat. If you are, honestly, if you just style your hair in any way, but I'm saying this especially for the girls with frizzy, naturally curly or wavy hair, if you're going in and you're wanting to do a really pretty blowout, the way that I get mine so nice and silky and smooth and not frizzy at all is using this wow dream coat. It really does work wonders. I don't even know how to explain it. It just works wonders. 85, a silk scarf to either sleep in or just maintain your hair during the day or at night, whatever you want it for. You can also wear it as a skirt, as a shirt, as an accessory. I don't know. There's so many things. 86, silk pillowcase or satin pillowcase, whatever fits your fancy. It's really, really great for your skin and your hair. Um, I think that's the main gist. <laughs> Number 87, a detangler brush. Again, this company, I don't know how to pronounce it, Jiso Hair Perfume. I smelled this in the store the other day. I want it so bad. It is on my Christmas list. That one actually made it on my Christmas list. It seems really extra, but I, my favorite compliment in the entire world is probably, you smell really good. I don't know why, it just hits different. It doesn't matter who it's coming from. I will take that compliment any time of the day. Number 90, we have a round brush or 
a wire brush. I don't know exactly which one that you would call it. I just have heard this, it's on my list, that it's really, really great for doing slick back looks. And then also if you do have the blow dryer, you can recreate the blowout look that you get in a salon with the round brush if you're really handy like that. I'm not handy like that. That's why I like the Revlon brush. Number 91, claw clips. We're getting into the hair accessories. Love claw clips. I have them so many different sizes. If you have really, really thick hair, I highly suggest you get the rectangle ones rather than like the generic curved ones. The rectangle ones hold so much more of your hair. Just putting that out there. Target makes really, really great ones and so does Kitsch. 92, bows. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. I'm sure you've seen it on my stuff if you watch me. Bows on everything. Bows on headphones, bows on hair, bows on shoes, bows on phones, bows on purse. 93, headbands. Five Dyson Air Wrap could be fun to play with. 96, the Shark Flex. I've heard that it's better than the Dyson. If you guys have either one of those, let me know your thoughts because I want to know which one is better just in case I want to put one of those on my Christmas list. Number 97, scrunchies. Specifically satin scrunchies because they're 10 times better than the normal scrunchie. 98, hair rollers, especially if you are into the big 90s blowout look recently. Number 99, hair clips for makeup. I'm talking, if you have thin hair, you can use those tiny little ones, but if not, get those big boys that they like section your hair off with in the salon to dye your hair. The big boys, that's what I use. Life-changing. Number 100, we have the silk bonnet. Basically the same as a silk scarf. I've never tried a silk bonnet. I've only ever tried silk scarves, but they're absolutely amazing to sleep in and just protect your hair. I've heard from so many different people. It doesn't really matter what hair type you have, it really, goes a long way in just protecting your hair at night. Miscellaneous, this is my last, it's technology, it's random things, it's house stuff, it's, I don't know. Number 101, we have the Octo Buddy. I don't have mine on there right now, but I usually do. 102, headphones, headphones of any kind. Number 103, earbuds. 104, iPhone. 105, iPad. 106, iPhone cases. 107, Stanley cups. I love my Stanley cups or any sort of insulated cup for that matter because my next one is a Yeti cup. Number 109, we have tote bags. I specifically love the quilted tote bag look recently. I really want some. Erin Made is a really, really great company on Instagram that makes them. I'm pretty sure she like hand makes them herself, which is insane. I have one of her beach bags, but I want one of her quilted bags now. 110, book bag. 111, we have Apple Watch or just any sort of watch. I really, really love the dainty gold jewelry watches recently. It's not super high tech, but they are really pretty. <laughs> Number one at 12, coffee mugs. I am not a coffee fanatic, but I am a tea fanatic and I love coffee mugs. Cute ones, especially the handmade Etsy ones that have been going all around recently. They also have them on Amazon. I'm sure Anthropology or something has them as well. Urban Outfitters. With that being said, a Keurig. 114 blankets, blankets of all kinds. I don't think you can have enough blankets. You need a lot of fluffy blankets in your life. <laughs> kind of gets a mouthful. 115 Etsy style makeup bags. This goes along with the quilted bags that I was just talking about, except it's not a tote. They literally come like this and they're so stinking cute. Number 116, the colorful organizers. I don't know why I labeled it like this, but they're the colorful organizing crates that I've seen all over Pinterest. People will put their perfumes or their makeup or their um, candles or school supplies, whatever they want in them. They're so stinking cute and I want a pair. 117, Hydro Flask, another insulated water bottle. Stay hydrated, please stay hydrated. 118, candles, say less. I love a good candle. 119, perfumes. I actually almost made perfumes its entire own section, but I'm sure you can do perfume research on your own or just go into Ulta or Sephora and smell some perfumes or go into Victoria's Secret and smell some perfumes or Bath and Body Works like I was just saying. 120, a vanity mirror. Obviously not the huge one. If you wanna put that on your Christmas list, go for it. But I was thinking more of one of the little unfoldable ones that has all the little lights around it. Super cute. 121, the selfie light. Specifically the Alex Earl selfie light. I actually have one. I don't know where I put mine. Sorry, I'm trying to escape the sun. It keeps peeking through. Number 122, travel bags. Specifically the Bays travel bags. I really want the Weekender travel bag or new suitcases. If you're a big travel girly, maybe ask for a really nice pair of suitcases. 123, hatch alarm clock, a journal. I'm watching Vampire Diaries again and all of a sudden it just really made me want to start journaling again. It's 
it's that time of the year. It is the season to watch Vampire Diaries again. 125 Bible, if you're into that. 126 Bible devotionals. And then 127, I have Bible markers. 128, I have a camera. This can be any sort of camera that you like. If you're wanting to start blogging, you definitely should. Start a YouTube channel, start doing whatever you want. Or if you're just wanting a really nice camera to take pictures and mess around with and be artistic, cool. Or if you just want to camera to take pictures and post on your social media even better uh 128 kitchenware i really really love my mom got it for me last year she bought me all of the our place sets and it was honestly it's just like something you don't even think about we just moved into a new house and it was just something that especially if you're a college student you're moving into a new dorm you may not even be thinking about all the things that you want in your kitchen but it's like when you leave home you're all of a sudden starting to think oh i need a lot of different things and you're halfway through a recipe and you don't even know that you need it Last but not least, I just have little bits of jewelry. My favorite brand to get jewelry from is Ana Luisa or Ear Kits. If you have lots of piercings, that's where I love getting my sister gifts from. So yeah, that is actually the end of my Christmas list. Please let me know if there's anything that I missed that you really want on your Christmas list. Comment it down below or comment your favorite thing from my list that you already added to your Christmas list. So yeah, hopefully this was really quick and to the point. I didn't want it to be super long because I click on so many of these videos and then people chat for too long. You're not here to listen to me chat. So, but if you have made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you are interested in more videos. I am going to be doing Vlogmas because on my last video, you guys all said you really wanted me to do Vlogmas, so I'm going to do it. So, if you also are looking for something else to comment down below, comment down what you would like to see me do for Vlogmas because if it's going to be every day, I'm going to need lots of ideas and I want you guys to let me know exactly what it is that you want to see. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Here is everything that I went over today. Uh, also, I will try and have some of the products linked down below. Those are commissionable links. You don't have to click those. It's just more or less to make sure that you know the exact product I was talking about. As always, find these products where you can find them the cheapest. If that's through this link, awesome sauce. If it's not, don't worry about it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Hugs, kisses, love you. Bye-bye.